one of my favorite amino acids and supplements in the world is glycine. In fact, I think it's actually one of the best longevity supplements that you can take on a daily basis that's going to improve your health span and slow down aging. In this video, I'm going to do a very thorough overview of glycine and its longevity effects based on this new study that came out. Do it. And the reason I decided to do this particular video has to do with this uh, study published on 31st March 2023. So very new. It's called Glycine and Aging Evidence and Mechanisms. So it's giving you a very nice overview about the longevity benefits of glycine and how it can affect aging and a lifespan. So here are the highlights of this paper. The simple amino acid glycine extends lifespan in worms, mice and rats. Glycine also improves aspects of health in mammalian models of age-related disease. Glycine is the acceptor of GNMT, an enzyme responsible for methionine clearance. GNMT also converts glycine to sarcosine, an autophagy-inducing metabolite. Glycine may prolong life by inducing autophagy and mimicking methionine restriction. So glycine has many other benefits beyond just mentioned here, but when it comes to actual, you know, these uh, lifespan extension in these model organisms, then it comes down to primarily two things, which is increasing autophagy and mimicking methionine restriction. Cool. And when it comes to methionine restriction, then this is something that also has been shown to be very beneficial for longevity, at least in uh, rats and other animals. So excess methionine, it uh, can uh, disrupt methylation and uh, even raise your homocysteine levels, which uh, um, will increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. So methionine is one of the most abundant amino acids in the diet. You get it from eggs, meat, and other animal protein sources primarily. And excess methionine, yeah, is associated with uh, shorter lifespans. Methionine restriction has been found to be able to extend the lifespan in rodents by 30 to 40 percent. And the way it does so is by also inhibiting some of the mTOR expression. So methionine helps to pretty much stimulate mTOR, the growth pathway in the body. And uh, yeah, it uh, can have like a negative effect on the speed of your aging. And yeah, like methionine restriction is uh, clearly has been shown to be beneficial for longevity and slowing down aging and glycine can pretty much mimic the uh, effects of uh, methionine restriction without necessarily needing to uh, restrict methionine, which is great because it's very hard to like restrict methionine unless you are on a very zero animal protein uh, diet. And uh, glycine pretty much helps to buffer against methionine toxicity and uh, supports the methylation that prevents the rise in homocysteine and uh, also like yeah, just pretty, pretty much inhibits the excessive toxicity effects of uh, methionine in too large amounts. So it matters more the ratio between methionine to glycine. If you do want to learn everything about the benefits of glycine and how to take it and when and in what amounts, then check out my book with Dr. James DiNicolantonio called The Collagen Cure on Amazon. But let's take a quick step back to this new study and they have a very good overview of the studies linking the um, you know use of glycine. So in rats, a diet containing 8 or 12% of glycine uh, resulted in 28.4% median increase in the male's uh, lifespan, which is very significant. In worms, diet containing 1 millimole of glycine, 10% mean increase in lifespan. In flies, it uh, overexpressing the GNMT enzyme, which uh, kind of limits the synthesis of uh, glycine. So overexpressing that increased lifespan by 9.3% in females and 13.3% in males. And as you can see from these other studies, yet the adding or increasing the glycine intake to up to 8% can increase the lifespan of these animals. There's also the aspect of age-related diseases and health span of how glycine can slow down the development of these uh, different age-related diseases and the supplementing mice with glycine prior to implantation with melanoma cells suppressed tumor growth. Long-term supplementation with glycine decreased fasting glucose, insulin, triglyceride, and IGF-1 levels in male rats. Vascular endothelial function is improved by the oral administration of glycine in older rats. In obese male mice with glucose intolerance, glycine supplementation, in addition to calorie restriction, enhanced fat loss while preserving lean mass. Wait a minute. But of course, these are model organisms, and we should definitely <laughs> look at more in the human and clinical trials. So in a cohort of 72 type 2 diabetic patients, 5,000 milligrams a day, so 5 grams of glycine a day over 3 months, led to a reduction in pro-inflammatory cytokines and hemoglobin A1c. In a separate clinical study involving 60 metabolic syndrome patients, systolic blood pressure was decreased in response to 15 grams a day of glycine for 3 months. Improvements in various stroke scales were documented in 200 acute ischemic stroke patients 
treated with doses of either 1000 milligrams a day or 2000 milligrams a day over a five day period. 6000 milligrams a day for eight weeks improved urine storage systems in patients with overactive bladder and a dose of 3000 milligrams a day over a period of three days reduced fatigue in sleep restricted subjects. So as you can see, there are many longevity benefits to glycine. In animal models, it does extend lifespan. And the reason we know that is because rats and flies, they live relatively short. So you can do those tests in these animals. Of course, it's very hard to uh, do any kind of lifespan or longevity study in humans. In humans, you can look at how does those different compounds and these supplements, how do they affect the markers of age-related diseases, the hallmarks of aging, and just health span. Based on that, there is clear benefits to taking glycine and the benefits of glycine generally have to do with improving the blood sugar levels, fasting the insulin levels, uh, triglycerides, even lowering the demand for sleep, improving brain function and helping with just overall aspects of vitality. There was actually one recent study of uh, 2020 in uh, mice were combining glycine and N-acetylcysteine, so NAC. Uh, both of these um, amino acids are precursors to glutathione synthesis. And glutathione is your body's master antioxidant that pretty much is needed to slow down aging and counteract the oxidative stress that you get from aging. And in this study, the Glynac supplementation, glycine plus NLC, resulted in 24% longer life in the mice. In humans, supplementing Glynac or glycine and NAC in older adults improves the hallmarks of aging. So different kinds of uh, hallmarks that are associated with uh, accelerated aging. Glynac supplementation for 24 weeks in older adults was well tolerated and lowered oxidative stress corrected intracellular glutathione deficiency and mitochondrial dysfunction, decreased inflammation and endothelial dysfunction and genomic damage and improved strength, gait speed, cognition and body composition. So a lot of the longevity benefits come from the methionine restriction and the autophagy stimulation that pretty much helps to clean out the cells from these dysfunctional components as well as boosting glutathione levels, which uh, just enables the body to function with less inflammation and oxidative stress, which is very crucial for aging. And it also pretty much buffers against the methionine toxicity that many people who are eating, you know, pre predominantly animal-based diets or just too much muscle meat, then uh, it just balances out the methionine. Glycine also has a very important role in anti-aging directly by helping to reduce wrinkles and collagen synthesis. Glycine makes up every third amino acid in collagen, which is why there is such a large requirement of glycine for optimal collagen turnover. The less collagen or glycine you consume, the slower your collagen turnover is. A slow collagen turnover increases the damage that occurs to your collagen, such as glycation and oxidation, and reduces collagen deposition into tissues. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body, making up approximately 30% of all your protein by mass. It makes up your hair, teeth, skin, nails, organs, arteries, cartilage, bones, tendons, and ligaments. Collagen is literally the glue that holds you together. So making sure that you preserve your collagen is very important for slowing down aging, especially when it comes to wrinkles. Starting at the age of 20, you lose just under 10% of your skin's collagen content every decade. So by the time you're 75 years old, you would have lost 50% of your skin's collagen content. Up until very recently, it was thought that the collagen turnover was very slow and it only happened over the course of many years over the entire lifespan. However, recently it was shown that collagen turnover happens every day and is part of your daily protein turnover. In 2009, it was discovered that the need for glycine for optimal health is around 15 grams per day. You need at least 12 grams per day for optimal collagen turnover, plus another 3 grams for the formation of things like glutathione, creatine, heme, etc. Your body only makes 3 grams of glycine per day. And if you only consume around 2 to 3 grams of glycine from foods, then it means that almost all of us are in a 10 gram glycine deficit every day. However, this estimation is based on the assumption that your glycine recycling rate is 95%. However, if glycine's recycling rate is more like cysteines, then glycine would have an 85% recycling rate. If that's the case, then we would need three times more glycine, not 12 grams, but actually 36 grams for optimal collagen health. Basically, all the foods that have some skin on it 
generally have a bit more glycine. Fish skin, chicken skin, and different kinds of animal tendons, ligaments, bones, they all contain significantly more glycine. What I like to do is also eat sugar-free jello. So the gelatin in the jello is an amazing source of glycine, and it's actually one of the highest sources of glycine. It's low sugar, it doesn't spike your blood sugar, and it tastes pretty good. Jello, more like hello. <laughs> When it comes to the methionine imbalance, then you do need to pay attention to that as well. So if you are eating a lot of muscle meat and animal protein specifically, then you definitely need to increase your glycine intake because glycine is going to counteract the negative side effects of excess methionine on homocysteine and in the aspect of shortening glycine. Some of the highest methionine foods include egg whites, lean beef, and other kinds of muscle meat. Glycine can protect against protein oxidation and advanced glycation end products formation, which is very important for anti-aging and longevity because these AGEs, advanced glycation end products, they're pretty much, you know, these glycated proteins or lipids as well, and they can just cause more damage to the tissue, they can promote diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and overall mortality. Eating a very high glycated diet, which involves, you know, cooking at high temperatures, or just uh, using sugars and uh, other kinds of oils when cooking your proteins, then uh, that is something that also accelerates aging and uh, accelerates especially the skin aging in terms of the wrinkles. So glycine is one of the supplements and amino acids that actually counteracts and protects against that. And glycine directly also inhibits the AGE RAGE signaling pathway. So uh, AGEs are advanced glycation end products and RAGE is the receptor of AGEs. So it suppresses that signaling pathway and also reduces the subsequent uh, oxidative stress and reduces the glycation. So it works from both ends. First of all, it inhibits the activation of the advanced glycation end uh, formation. And on the other end, it also calms down or reduces the side effects of glycation by reducing the blood sugar levels. In diabetics, supplementing with 5 grams of glycine 3 to 4 times a day improves A1C levels. Glycine supplementation improves insulin sensitivity in humans and helps to lower blood glucose levels by potentiating the effects of insulin. Thus, one of the best anti-aging strategies is to ensure an adequate glycine intake. And if this wasn't enough, then glycine also improves sleep quality and it can help to relax at night by being very similar to GABA. So it's GABAergic, the glycine in the brain, and uh, it also helps with relaxation through GABA pathway and uh, it has been shown to be very beneficial for improving sleep quality and reducing the time it takes to fall asleep. People who ingested 3 grams of glycine within one hour before bedtime saw an improvement in subjective sleep quality, fell asleep faster, and were less sleepy during the day. I'm just winning. So, as you can see, there are so many health benefits to glycine as an amino acid and as a supplement. First of all, you want to make sure that you do get adequate amount of glycine from your foods. As a general rule of thumb, you do want to include a lot of glycine-rich foods when you are eating muscle meat as well. I mean, you would want to eat glycine-rich foods uh, regardless if you're eating muscle meat or not, but if you are having a meal that has some extra methionine and muscle meat, then, I mean, the safest thing to do is to also just take some glycine supplement. So taking three to five grams of glycine with your meal. So whether or not you're eating a high carb, a plant-based meal or a high muscle meat meal, it doesn't matter. Adding glycine onto that is just very beneficial in terms of managing your biomarkers, lipids, blood sugar, and also lowering the advanced glycation end products. So, in conclusion, glycine is amazing. It has many benefits for slowing down aging and longevity. In animal models, it has been shown to be something that does extend lifespan and mimic methionine restriction, which is pretty damn awesome. In humans, it apparently improves age-related conditions, especially if you combine glycine with NAC as a glynac supplement, and uh, that, you know, obviously increases your glutathione levels. But taking glycine alone as well, so taking around... I think most people would benefit for at least like 5 to 10 grams of glycine a day, which is uh, kind of a moderate amount, actually. If you're really upping the dose, if you're eating a lot of muscle meat, for example, or you're just interested in getting more of the benefits of glycine, then you can take even up to 20 grams a day, and uh, maybe 30 grams is a bit uh, too high. But the, in studies where they have taken like 80 grams of uh, glycine, even they don't see any, any negative side effects. Some of the potential negative side effects may have to do with hypoglycemia and nausea or a headache if your blood sugar drops uh, too low. But other than that, there aren't no like deleterious uh, health effects to glycine.
pricing. But do you want to slow down aging? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at seamland.com and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.